Hey, good to see you again. The factory sent over the parts that were looking good on the rig. They're being fitted as we speak. Have a look at the report. Alright guys, welcome back to F1 2016 career mode here in Season 2. And as you can see, we have our new part fitted again. The drag reduction upgrade. So uh, we have a little bit of a better car. Although we already had the best car. Let's see. Renault upgraded chassis weight. Williams upgraded three things. Alright, so that's very good. Williams is a little bit closer to Mercedes now. But we still have the very, pretty much the fastest car of the race, guys. Uh, we are right back... In the, in the standings as the championship is concerned. We are in third place now, 10 points behind the leader Sebastian Vettel because of our very beautiful win last time out in Bahrain. Because of our strategy, we managed to win that uh, race. Uh, if you didn't see that yet, I recommend checking that out. Anyway, um, it's time for the Chinese Grand Prix, guys. There's uh, nothing much to say. We should be able to uh, to qualify within the in the top three easily because of we have the fastest car pretty much but anyway uh, let's uh, try to do our best and uh, as you can see we are three out of ten for the first driver position uh, expectations now Kimi is a rival hopefully we can beat him uh, that would be the first or or maybe the second uh, rivalry that we uh, win that way anyway guys let's go Almost ready to go then, and this is what the starting grid looks like for today's race. Great work from Nico Hulkenberg yesterday, sees him start on pole, edging out Jensen Button, who lines up P2. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have Ricardo, Vettel, Max Verstappen, and Raikkonen, Hamilton, Rosberg, Massa, and Valtteri Bottas, Perez, and a McLaren, Daniel Kvyat, and Grosjean, Sainz, Ericsson, Kevin Magnussen, and Esteban Gutierrez, Palmer and Harry Anto, Felipe Nasser and Pascal Wehrlein completes the grid. And with lights out just moments away, it's time to go down to the track. All right, guys, here we are on track and Nico Hukenberg just burked out the whole game. He glitched the game. He didn't put a time in for sector one, but he his time got recorded at the end of the lap. So he was 24 seconds faster than everyone else. And he is in P1. And I was so distracted by the timetables in qualifying that I pretty much forgot to put in a second run. So uh, we qualified in P12 at the end. We are back to 1 out of 10, 10 for the team expectations. Our teammate pretty much qualified in P1. So he starts uh, bes besides uh, Nico Hülkenberg in P2. And um, yeah, I absolutely uh, hate this track again as well. But uh, I'm going to make the most of it. I'm not sure what uh, I'm supposed to do in terms of finishing position, but uh, I just want to finish in the points. That's it. As high in the points as we as we can. But we know we are faster in, in races than our teammate most of the time. So, uh, yeah, let's just try and get him. And then uh, we should be safe for a podium pretty much, hopefully. Uh, and maybe Hukenberg can hold everyone up since his teammate is starting right in front of us in P11. Anyway, it's one-stop race as always. It's from the... Soft tires. Oh, I can I can change uh, starting tires. Uh, wait, let's start on the mediums. Then uh, drive on for a very very long time, and then finish on super softs. I think that's a, that's a very good strategy. So 14 lap race. Go to the pits at lap nine. Let's uh, tone the fuel down back to uh, 13 and a half. Very nice. Anyway, guys, let's go. Let's put it to rich as always. Maintain up to more RPM. Five red lights. And away we go. Starting on the harder tires might be a little bit of a problem. But we will be very fast. Uh, in the end. Let's uh, slip it up the inside of everyone here. Ooh. Whoa. Lost my back end. Massively. Raikkonen and Verstappen are fighting as well. We are right beside Hamilton here. Alright, P7 it is now. And Hukenberg's already in P4. Okay. We are in P5 now. Alright. Let's see if we can get to Hukenberg. It's 
really annoying that the game is so glitchy, guys. Uh, same goes for the cars running into you as if you were not there. But skipping a whole sector is... Uh, yeah, that's too much for me. Oh well. Jensen Button is in, uh, is in P1 actually now. Uh, and he is going uh, quite fast. Wow. We just out dragged Raikkonen who had slipstream of us uh, because of our engine upgrades. That's so, so good, guys. We can really uh, make optimal use of that uh, on the straights here. On the very long straight. And we're getting closer to Hukenberg, I feel. And turn one and two seems to be our uh, strong point. Yeah, we're definitely very close to Hukenberg now. Alright, we're definitely uh, going to attack Hulkenberg on the straight here. Some information on Palmer. They have an issue with their Don't care about Palmer. Put it into Rich. Slipstream. And there we go. Back to standard, because we're going to make it easily. There we go. That's P4. And the guys in first, second and third are fighting pretty heavily, which is very, very good. DRS will be enabled real soon. Or actually, after this corner. So, um... Ooh, yellow flags. That's behind us. Okay. That's uh, gonna slow them up if they're gonna overtake each other. That left-hander is so awkward. Oh well. Ooh, rain! Uh-oh. That's gonna be very, very good for us if it stays out long enough uh, for the front runners to have to make a pit stop. Then we can just continue on to uh, wet weather tires immediately, which is going to save us a pit stop and pretty much uh, 20 seconds. Yes, that's actually very, very good. And Raikkonen over to Kukenberg uh, behind us. And they are pretty uh, long way behind, so we have a little bit of a buffer, that's good. And they are going into the pits already, guys. Uh oh. That uh, promotes us into P1 now. And we are all already uh, below 0.3 uh, minus. On fuel, that is. To consider switching to a lower fuel mix, we may not finish on the current settings. And I can already uh, caught back up to us. All right, but they are pretty much going into the pits next lap, probably. And I totally forgot uh, which lap we had to go to the pits. Was it nine? Yes, I think it was nine. Oh, 
Whoa, back end. Alright. Weather forecast. Alright, very shortly. That's very good. And it's always a good time to go into the pits when DRS will be uh, d disabled, as always. Back up to Ridge Mix. Let's see if we can uh, defend from Raikkonen a little bit. Let's go defensive. Ooh, there comes Verstappen as well. And yes, our top speed is... Uh, very, very high. A little bit of a drift. And now Rosberg is in P3. So Raikkonen lost two positions in that corner. And they're all going into the pits now. Very well. It's funny because uh, the weather forecast that the strategy selection screen didn't show uh, that it was supposed to be raining. So that's uh, very, very surprising actually. And Grosjean and Sainz on soft compound tires are behind us now. I felt like we were actually pretty competitive uh, on the hardest compound tires in comparison to, uh, to to our teammate on the super softs. So that was uh, very very good actually. That corner is very awkward as well. And we're almost positive on fuel already. Alright, let's put it to Rich for the straight. Whoa, we're in a little bit wide, but that's okay. I think we still had uh, two wheels on the, on the asphalt, so that's good. And it's still not raining, guys. That might be a glitch as well. Uh, weather forecast. This rain could be with us for a while. Light rain conditions for the foreseeable future. Uh, so it's already raining? Question mark? I don't see it raining. No. All right, that's a little, little bit weird, but we still might have a very good strategy. Although uh, the other guys will have a very good strategy as well, obviously, and they will be very fast, very fast on their new tires. And our tires are pretty much done already as well. I'm sliding everywhere suddenly. Still have to do three more laps on those tires. Oh! Weather report. We'll be seeing at least 20 minutes of light rain. What the hell? We're positive on fuel, by the way. So it's it's raining. Oh, I can see it raining now. Signs of took uh, Grosjean. Okay, that's very good. Hopefully, it will be uh, raining hard enough uh, for us to have to go, having to go on inters. Cheat city. Wow. Yeah, yeah. It's barely raining, uh, Jeff. Thank you.
yeah, I can see it definitely raining now on my screen, guys. But, uh, yeah, it's not uh, wet yet, so... It's a good idea to go into the pits, like I said, when the DRS will be disabled. Or when you think it's going to be disabled real soon, but uh, that's not that this lap yet. 52% wear left front. Hmm. Oh well. Alright, so it's gonna rain till the end, guys, that's a fact, but uh, hopefully it's still gonna be wet enough. Ricardo's out of the race. That's very good, actually. And Fettel actually already moved up to P3, and our teammate is in P4 then. Oh, almost I break myself here. But there was 17 seconds back to my teammate, so that's uh, that's a that's a pretty huge gap, actually. We have to go to the pits next lap, I think. Nope. Thank you, Jeff. And I think there's still a yellow flag. Maybe Ricardo is still there. Next to the side of the road. And Fettel over to Gutierrez for P2 now. Oh, yellow flag is gone. Yeah, we have to go to the pit this lap, but... Uh, I don't know, guys. Should we go into the pits? It might be raining uh, after we go into the pits, so... Hmm. Then we have to go to the pits again and uh, ruin, uh, ruin our race that way. Um... I can try to stay at one more lap, I think. Yeah. Let's just stay out one more lap and uh, see what uh, what the weather is going to do. Might be a good idea. Although I'm sliding everywhere. But we have the track position, so we... Ah. Uh, if it... If it's not going to rain harder... Um, we will ruin our race if we have to go to the pits for dries then. Oh man. The tires do feel very, very bad. Is there spray? No. No, it's not uh, wet enough yet. Ah, we have to go to the pits though. Yeah, yeah, thank you. Let's out one more lap, guys. And our teammate is in P2 now. Please rain harder, guys. Please. Don't care about Palmer. Because he's probably in uh, 21st. And our teammate and Fettel are fighting pretty heavily into turn 1 and 2. We're already 1.6 seconds slower in the first chapter than our own best time, I think.
We were very, very slow actually. And there was a raindrop on my screen as well. Weather forecast. They want me to go into softs. What? Why? That's ridiculous. Okay. Ah, uh, guys, it's still not wet enough yet. Although it's starting to be very wet now. Let's stay out for one more lap, guys. We have to make a choice at the end of this lap, guys. We just have to. It's starting to be a little darker, I think. I can see more raindrops falling on the screen, screen as well. We have to go to the pits anyway, since uh, and they're not coming. They're not getting closer to us as well. Tire status. All right, we're going into the pits for inters, guys. I'm going to risk it. It seems to be uh, very, very uh, rainy now, more than it was two laps ago. So, and we have to go to the pits eventually, since we started on dry compound tires. Uh, we have to uh, drive on two different compounds then. Yeah, not really sure. Tire status. Okay, I think it might be just about time to come and change these tires. Yeah. Tire status. We're no longer sure that these tires are the right ones. Yeah, we're going with the interest, guys. A lot of raindrops on the screen as well. Alright. Let's go straight here into the pits. Uh oh, all right. That's a very uh, difficult pit entry, actually, and very slow as well. Okay, don't really care, Jeff. We're going to Inters, guys. Let's see if we were actually faster. I don't think so because DRS hasn't been disabled yet. The tires were very, very done as well. That's uh, P3. P4 is on the way. That's P4. Point 0.4 excess fuel to burn. Wow. The track looks very, very wet now, actually, guys. We might have made the right choice here. We still have three more laps to go. And we have a little bit of fuel to burn. Drifting all the way. That was a fair bad corner. I don't have any grip on those tires though, but... Uh, Verstappen doesn't seem to be that fast either. Yeah, yeah. And the guys in first and second are there as well. Alright, let's uh, slip free for stopping here. We do have DRS because that hasn't been disabled yet, like I said. Wow, our top speed. And that's a podium position, guys. Fettles next. Two more laps to go. 
So we are faster than Verstappen, that's, uh, that's a fact. The arrest is disabled, guys! The okay, arrest is disabled, you know what that means! It's gonna be very tricky for the guys in front to stay on the road now. And for me as well, apparently. Driver in front. Yes, we are way faster. Guys, we are way faster. We just had the most luck in F1 history, I guess. That's starting on the missing qualifying, uh, missing a top 10 qualification because of uh, Hukenberg skipping uh, or cutting a whole sector. Then starting uh, outside the top 10 to, uh, to be able to uh, Choose our own starting tires and then choosing the mediums to go on longer. And that it uh, was raining as well. Because it didn't say that in the in the graphic, I don't think. And look how close we are, guys. Look how close we are. And there... We only have the last lap remaining. Yeah, we out drag him on the straights, guys. Move out your way, Jensen, please. Yellow flag. Uh oh. It was Fedor who spun. Okay, that's good. So our teammate and us, we are in P1 and P2, guys. It's gonna be the first 1 2 for McLaren, I think. Yes, it is. It has to be. That's going to be a big day in the history. McLaren back to first and second, guys. As long as we can uh, finish the race, uh, that is, actually. I think we are the only ones on Inters, guys, and it worked out perfectly. We went to the, to the pit just at the right time. It was a huge gamble, but it paid off, as you can see. Final lap of the race, and we just passed our teammate for first. I can't believe it, guys. We're gonna have two wins in a row as well on ultimate difficulty, and yes, we do have the fastest car of this uh, of this whole circus. But uh, that doesn't mean it's a, it's a very very good job because we won because of our strategy twice. And look how much of a gap we pull. Yeah, yeah. I'm 0 0.2 positive on fuel. Uh, so I'm gonna make that until the end, guys. Don't worry about that, Jeff. Thank you. After the qualifying, I thought it was gonna be a very difficult race for us, but apparently our strategy made it very, very easy in the end. One more corner to go, guys. Rosberg just uh, took third place from Verstappen in the end, but we're gonna cross the finish line and it's gonna it was a hell of a drive P1 it is in the Chinese Grand Prix. Yes stuff. Eric Bouye is uh, very happy as well package in the wet and what that means is that the drivers have confidence to attack and having that confidence gets you on the power earlier it lets you break later Kim Raikkonen finished finish, finish fifth in the end he is our rival so uh, we might uh, be even beating him uh, no. all right guys we won the Chinese Grand Prix our teammate finished the second like I said for our first one two of this whole season or this whole career mode it's the third race of the second round of second uh, season so that's actually very quickly considering we were one of the lower teams uh, to start with and uh, yeah guys Max Verstappen finishes third, Raikkonen fifth, Vettel sixth, Lewis Hamilton seventh, Carlos Sainz, Grosjean and Felipe Massa 
Hugenberg our pole sitter finished 11th outside the points in the end. Fatri Boras 17th, very bad. Sergio Perez did the two stop, so he probably went into wet onto wet tires as well uh, again. Danny Ricardo didn't finish the race, guys. So let's see. We are actually first in this championship now after scoring zero points in the first first round, finishing twice in a row now. So we are seven points in front of Vettel, eight points in front of. Verstappen and 16 points in front of our teammate already guys so that's absolutely great as for the construction standings we move up to P1 as well 16 points clear of Ferrari and 24 points clear of uh, Red Bull Mercedes moved up uh, from fourth all the way uh, of or two fourth of all the way from seventh and Toro Rosso overtakes uh, Manor with one point Sauber and Renault still don't have any points guys so Let's go back to the main hub, see how we stand in terms of resource points, um, happiness of the team and rivalry. Alright. That is 382 resource points. Alright, I guess he had the fastest lap as well. Shit, yes. Alright, I had the fastest lap though. But he had fastest sectors. Okay, that's a little bit uh, strange. But we are 12 to 7 down on him. Let's see, we were, we were 1 out of 10. And we are 4 out of 10 now. Actually, we are back into the green, which is uh, very, very good. Whoops, let's go to research and development. Uh, the next fuel efficiency is 575 resource points. So we might be able to upgrade that in the next race, guys. Um, yes, this has been a very, very beautiful race again. And I thank you so much for watching, guys. Hopefully we can uh, keep this form until the next race uh, or until the end of the season but for next race as well in Russia which is a very cool track I like that track actually so we might be able to score a very good result there, there as well and I uh, thank you so much for watching guys once again please leave a like comment and subscribe if you want to see more of this and I will see you in the next one guys bye bye